In this video, we're going to take a look at the least common multiple of several expressions where we have variables. The process we will use to find the least common multiple with variables is very similar to what we did when we had three numbers. We use all factors, or in this case, all variables, from each term and attach the highest exponents. So let's take a look at some examples that have variables in them and see if we can identify the least common multiple. In this problem, we're looking for the least common multiple of 12a cubed b squared and 8a b to the fifth. First, let's look at the numbers 12 and 8. We can probably use mental math to find the least common multiple of these. 12 isn't divisible by 8, but 24 is. 24 is the least common multiple of the numbers. Then we need to use all the variables that appear, a's and b's. And we attach the highest exponent that appears on each. The highest exponent we see on an a is cubed. The highest exponent we see on a b is a fifth power. So that makes our least common multiple for these two monomials to be 24a cubed b to the fifth. Let's take a look at another example. In this problem, we're asked to find the least common multiple of these three terms. First, let's look at the numbers 7, 14, and 21. Let's try mental math and see if that works, and if it doesn't work, we'll do another method. The largest number is 21. 21 can be divided by 7, but not the 14, so 21 won't work. 21 times 2 is 42, and 42 is divisible by 14 and 7. 42 is the least common multiple of all three. We could have also found that using the prime factorization method of each to build the 42. Either way works just fine. For the variables, we attach all the variables that appear. We have x's and y's. That's a repeat, but we have z's also, and then a couple repeats. On each variable, we are going to attach the highest exponent. The highest exponent we see on an x is 3. For the y's, no exponent on either of the y's, so we'll have no exponent on the y's. And for the z's, the highest exponent we see on a z is a fourth power. Our least common multiple then becomes 42 x cubed y z to the fourth. With variables, we can quickly identify the least common multiple by using all the variables and attaching the highest exponent on each variable.